Hello and welcome back everyone. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. My name is Deluxe, but you guys can call me D4. And today I got 10 tricks and tips for you guys that you may not have known before on Red Dead Redemption 2. If you find something new today, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and also leave a like. So let's go ahead and jump into those top 10 tips and tricks that you may not have known. All right, this one right here is a little trick and it's very, very easy to do. All you have to do is hit your left bumper twice in a row really quickly and you will spin your gun as Arthur Morgan. So that's pretty cool. It's something a little different, but yeah, it's a little trick that you can use throughout your gameplays. The next tip is for you guys to open up your map really, really quickly. You can use the start or option button. Just hold it in and your map will come up quickly instead of going through your menu, hitting start, going down the map, and then open it up and waiting on the little transition screens. This one is pretty quick and easy, and I find it really, really helpful when you are traveling and you're running from something or you're trying to get somewhere really, really quickly. All right, guys, this next one we're bringing from Red Dead Redemption 1, and this one is a pretty easy one. But uh, if you are shooting your gun and you're about to run out of ammo, go into Deadeye and go back out of Deadeye really quickly, and your ammo count starts all the way back over at 1, and you can go all the way through. So I show you how I shoot my gun, all 7 bullets, and then I go through and get to bullet number 6, and then I restart my Deadeye, and then it restarts my ammo count. So I just wanted to show you guys how it actually works. All right, this next one is a pretty neat little trick, and uh, you have to do exactly as I say on this one or it will not work. All right, so kill any animal that you can go and skin. Once you do that and you can pick up the carcass, go ahead and pick up the carcass. Once you pick up the carcass, you can call your horse over to you if you don't want to walk. Now, mine's not that far, but you can have it follow you, It can you can have it stay, or you can have it flee. Um, and I'm going to call it to follow me and then have it stay. And then I'm going to go over and load the carcass up. And then once I load the carcass up, I'm actually going to ask it to flee just to show you guys that you can have it do that. And what would that be good for? It would be good if maybe some bounty hunters were coming and you didn't want your horse to die. You could ask your horse to flee at any moment and he will do that. So anyways, if you get a full deer, it will not work. So uh, you have to skin it. So make sure you do that. All right, guys, I got two in one on this one, but uh, one of them, this first one is going to be a little bonus. I'm not gonna count this towards your 10, but uh, on this one, what you gotta do is uh, basically rope any animal that you can. If you can rope the animal, you can get a perfect pelt from it. So if you rope it and then you come up to it and you stab it and kill it, then you can get a perfect pelt. So that is something that you can do in the game. But once you go ahead and get that animal on, a lot of people are having problems with donating their animals to the actual camp. So what you have to do to donate your animal is keep it on your horse. Then you're going to run over to where Pearson is, go up to the table and hit the donation button. You got to make sure you're in the right spot to do this. Once you do this and you get into your donation screen, you're going to see a lot of different icons at the top. Go over to your saddle and there it is. There is your deer right there and you can just donate to the camp. And uh, yeah, it's been really hard for a lot of people to figure that out. All right, this next tip is a very, very easy one. I know a lot of people know about this one, but I wanted to put it in the video in case a lot of people didn't know. But on this one, all you have to do is go into any post office and you can pay any bounty that you have. So you don't have to go actually go to that city to pay the bounty. You can go to any post office. And that's what I do here. And there's a couple that I can't afford at this time. So of course I didn't pay those off. All right, guys, for this next one, it's pretty, pretty cool, but it's really, really easy as well. If you want to get rid of your mini map, all you have to do is hold down on the D-pad. The options will come up to get rid of it. You can hide it, and then if you want to get it right back, you just do the same thing. Hold down on the D-pad, and you can now bring it back up. Um, if you want to get more immersive, this is what that's for, and it's just a quick option so you don't have to go to your settings and all other stuff like you did for GTA 5. but I thought it was cool, so I added it to the list. This next little trick that they added to the game is very, very cool, and I'm glad they added it to the game. And basically, it's for you if you get in a tough situation. So if you're surrounded by wolves or if you are getting into an argument with somebody and you really don't want to be in the situation anymore, what you can do is you can aim your weapon at anything and then point up on your D-pad and he will point the gun straight up in the air and then you can shoot the gun and scare away any unwanted predator or any other person. 
For this next one, Rockstar has put a lot of thought and process into this thing. It's kind of crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through it. So basically, if you go in and you try to rob a general store, the next time you come in there, they will identify you. Even if you change clothes, they're gonna identify you because you have to absolutely change everything. You have to change your guns, you have to change your horse, you have to change your hat, you have to change your mask, you have to change everything about you because if you don't, they will still identify you and turn you in. So if you want to rob the same place twice, you have to change exactly everything that you had on that day don't bring the same horse everything so just know that that's the thing that rockstar really put into red dead redemption 2 that makes it really immersive and kind of pretty neat all right guys let's say that you find a horse that you really like and you really want to change the name of your horse here's how you do it you go into any stable it doesn't matter what stable on any part of the map once you get into the stable make sure you go into the options here and which is manage owned horses click on the manage owned horses and pick from your owned horses that you have in there you can also buy a horse if you want to into the stable but I'm going to pick my first horse that I rode in on and they will show you a picture of it so once you go down there go to services and then go to rename horse and then give it a witty name or something that really describes your horse and uh, that's what what I do here with my horse but uh, I hope you guys really did learn something from today's videos you guys are amazing thank you for all the support lately thank you all the new subscribers and all the people that like and support the video so thank you guys and I will see you guys next time if you want more tips and tricks I got plenty to go around so if you want to see some more let me know also if you have a tip or trick and you can want to leave it in the comments please do that as well and I'll see you guys next time peace out